Our next caller is Andrew from Texas. What's up, Andrew? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Um, I am brand new uh, to weightlifting. I think my girlfriend, not so subtly, uh, introduced me to y'all two months ago. Uh, <laughs> and so in the first month, good girl. I spent my time just uh, working on owning the movement, as you talked about, stability and flexibility, so I could do compound lifts. And then about a month ago, I started uh, Max Aesthetic. I'm absolutely loving it. But one thing I've noticed is I've gone from about six to seven hours of sleep a night to about eight to nine hours. And I'm also uh, now taking like a 20 minute nap at least once a day. And I wanted to know if this is probably just an adjustment period because my body's taking on, you know, this extra stress and working out. Or if you guys see this long term, is this what happens with sure. uh, with weightlifters? Yeah. So I have two questions for you. Uh, first of all, sleeping eight to nine, eight hours a night is 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 usually better than six to seven for most people. Mm -hmm. But you're also taking a nap, so I need to ask you two other two questions. Number one, are you doing this because you you're tired? Are you finding that you're more fatigued? And then number two, are you noticing consistent strength gains in Maps Aesthetic? Oh yeah. Uh, so to answer the second question first, absolutely. I'm, uh, I'm putting on, you know, I'm, I'm adding more weight to my lifts. It seems like every time I go out, those, uh, those newbie gains you talk about have been great. Um, it's really just, I, I feel like my body's been exhausted. And so, I mean, I'm going, I feel like I, uh, I lay down and I fall asleep like that. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's just something I'm not used to. Um, like I said, I went from pretty much not working out at all to, to now doing maps aesthetic and I'm, I'm like eight weeks into, I guess, weightlifting now. And so I feel like it's just my body adjusting to the extra stress and movement. What, what's, uh, what's your caffeine intake look like? Mm -hmm. Uh, I pretty much just take pre-workout, um, right before my lift and that's it. Okay. Now, now before when you were sleeping six to seven hours a night, did you feel like you needed more or did you feel like you were fine? Uh, I think I needed more. Um, I just think I, I just, literally wasn't sleeping as much before probably because I had more of a sedentary lifestyle. Okay. And now, now that I'm reading you guys as nutrition guide and I'm going, I'm listening to your podcast a lot more. I'm, I'm starting to take like walks in uh, like every hour at work and stuff like that. So okay. I just feel like I'm moving more. Um, and I'm also, I'm also now in a calorie deficit if that contributes. Oh, at all. Okay. Well, well that's okay. contributing. Yeah. yeah. And well, so could the pre-workout too. Yeah. yeah well, definitely. so I, so here's the thing. If you weren't getting stronger, I would say it's probably too much. I'd have you back off, but there's a couple things you said that makes me think that your body needs the rest and it's good for you. One is you're getting stronger, right? So mm -hmm. if you're getting stronger, you're, you're usually not overtraining. In fact, I'd say you're probably not overtraining if you're noticing that you're consistent, especially the way you put it, where at least, you know, every time you work out, you seem to be lifting more weight. So that's a good thing. And then the other thing is that you said before, you slept less, but you felt like you needed more. You just couldn't get better sleep. Studies show that when people work out, especially when they do resistance training, they get better, deeper uh, you know, st types of sleep. So the, the sleep is more recuperative and the body just seems to you know, be able to sleep better. So this doesn't sound like a bad thing. Now, if your strength stalls or you notice you're weaker or you notice that you sleep eight hours, you take a little nap and you're still super exhausted, I would say bring the scale, scale the volume down by about a third mm. um, to see. And, 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 you know, that might even still be the case. MAPS aesthetic is still a lot of volume for a first time workout. I mean, I would have had you start with MAPS anabolic and then maybe eventually move you to MAPS aesthetic. But the fact that you're getting stronger every single time, I think this is pro you're probably okay. I would also investigate more of the caffeine intake. Mm -hmm. So if he, if he, he just said he's new to lifting, so I'm assuming you weren't taking a pre-workout six months ago. So, Correct. Okay. And now, were you a coffee drinker before at all? Nope. Okay. Yeah. So you take a guy, okay, who's yeah. never had yeah. caffeine, probably on some 200 plus right. milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot of caffeine in those yes. drinks. Yes. And a lot of times, with, uh, when you, especially that much caffeine and somebody who's not used to always taking it, you can have this, uh, you know, tons of energy from it and then a hard crash come from it right. afterwards. So I would actually uh, recommend like either one theanine, which you are a big advocate of, of taking that with his pre-workout. So a theanine to kind of keep a more even kill uh, and, or maybe even replacing the pre-workout with something more like red juice or something out or cordyceps or something along mm -hmm. those lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you could try, you, you could definitely mess with those yeah. uh, two things, but I mean, the fact that you're getting stronger as consistently as you are, yeah. 
That's a good sign. That's the best sign. I, I can't think of a more objective, uh, positive yeah. sign that it's working. And I actually went through, like, <clears throat> I go through spells of this too, and I forget that I'm uh, in, in a deficit, and I'm actually lowering my calorie intake and wondering why, you know, towards the end of the night, like, I'm getting really tired, and I, after my workouts especially, and that was definitely one of those things, that, a factor in that whole equation that, uh, you, you know, is something that has repeated itself from showed itself for me, but definitely the, the caffeine thing is a real thing especially if you're not used to it like there is an inevitable crash especially with those types of of caffeine products i would also so what uh can we get your your weight how much do you weigh right now and then what what the calorie intake looks like yeah so i'm 511 i weigh 200 pounds and i'm getting like 1800 to 1900 calories okay yeah and that's a cut you, you, from Correct. what you were at before okay you're, you're, I mean, you, you might, you're, you're probably okay. Um, it, I mean, if you're on a cut and you're getting stronger, though, that's a really good. Yeah. That's the strength part is what what tells me you're doing okay. If you're, if Once you're, he's got the newbie game. Yeah, on just top a, of that. Yeah, so, but you're not like, even. You're not going to. This get, might not always be. But the case. you could take a newbie and you could overtrain them. They're not going to get stronger. They're right. going to be sore. They're going to feel terrible. So the fact that you're getting strong now, if you stop getting stronger or you start going backwards, I would scale the volume down because it might be too much or bump the calories. Okay. Hey, yeah. thanks, guys. I appreciate all that you do. No problem. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a little torn, right? MAPS Aesthetic is a great workout program, but it's it's probably not the one that I would start with. Right. It's a lot I'm of new. volume right out of the shoot. Yeah, I would go MAPS Anabolic. MAPS Anabolic is, is a great way to start. I mean, MAPS Anabolic is a great program, period. You can go back to it even if you're advanced and get great gains. You're just biased because you're on it. Yeah. No, <laughs> no I mean... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm on the cover. <laughs> no, I agree. We all agree that. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. uh, it should be addressed, right? Because uh, obviously, we always have new audience. Um, the the way the programs we in, uh, originally wrote maps anabolic performance and aesthetic to be followed in that order. Mm -hmm. So even though there's exceptions to the rule, and yes, you can some people can start in their places. The the thought process when we thought about the amount of volume that is in each one of those programs and the things that we are addressing. With, with each one of those programs, the ideal thing for most people is to go anabolic performance and then aesthetic. I, you know, a couple things we didn't get a chance to say, so hopefully Andrew listens to this. I would also uh, have like three days in a row where I give myself a calorie surplus just to see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, it, he might be, 1,800 calories is pretty low for a 200-pound young man that's lifting five to six days a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would I'd rather see him somewhere on a cut like 22 to 2300 maybe you know and again these are generic numbers I don't know where his metabolism his metabolism is currently at so I'm, I'm just throwing stuff out there but that's a pretty low calorie intake and that could be a big part of it and then again the caffeine he wasn't taking caffeine in it at all and also yeah. you take two 300 well, that's milligrams what I'm wondering if he, he started his workouts like he's never worked out before and then and then added the pre-workout like doesn't really drink caffeine like both of those right Shit. out of the shoots it's like it would have been interesting to see if he just worked out without any kind of like stimulant. Yeah, I, or like the red juice. That's why I would yeah, yeah. push him in the direction of trying that out and seeing how he feels with that or messing with theanine or cordyceps in there. I just think that maybe that that I'm thinking of the nap, right? Because the sleeping at night, that's great. Yeah. If you're getting if you're yeah. getting eight eight nine hours of sleep, nothing I mean, wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's I think it's probably really good for him. His body's wanting to recover. His strength is going up. Like you're saying, the only thing that I would try and figure out or get to the bottom of is the midday nap, and the midday nap could be just we're so low of calories, or I've all of a sudden went from never taking caffeine to taking you know 300 milligrams of caffeine, and it's the crash that he's feeling. If he yeah. probably trains it early in the morning, it sounds like so earlier in the day takes this huge spike by noon or one is yeah, feeling tired. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, here's the deal. Um, going, leapfrogging a program doesn't get you there any faster, too. That's something that yeah, I think is important to explain. So oh, yeah. if MAPS anabolic is, is appropriate for you and the progression is anabolic to performance to aesthetic, jumping to aesthetic doesn't mean you get there faster. It, it actually means you get there slower because you started with a program that wasn't the perfect dose or the right dose you know, this for is, your body. This is something that's uh, Katrina, right? So, you, I mean, you guys know obviously off air about her situation and just getting back from surgery and stuff like that. And she had to reset and I made her start with starter. 
mm. and she's never ran starter before. Mm -hmm. And it was such a, a mind fuck for her. And I kept telling, and I'm asking her as she's going, she's now in the third week of, of starter right now. I go, well, what are you seeing? Are you still getting sore? She goes, yeah, no, the, I mean, the workouts that when I'm doing them, I feel like they're too easy and mm -hmm. too basic, but I do get sore from it. I said, then why, why would we go to anabolic yet when you're still totally. seeing these results? And she's so antsy to get there. And I'm like, you're seeing progression right now. Mm -hmm. Totally. There's no reason to do that.